Plus X3 includes a wide selection of spray brushes, which you can use to create some impressive artistic effects, such as this night sky composition. Here we use the spray brushes to create the treetops and the clouds over the moon. We'll show you how to do this now. Starting with a new blank document, go to the Quick Shapes flyout and click Quick Rectangle. Draw a large rectangle to fill your page. This will form the background for our composition, the sky. Go to the Swatches tab. From the Gradient drop-down list, choose Linear and click to apply the Linear 11 swatch. Now to edit this linear fill, you need to click the Fill tool and this displays the two nodes that make up the fill path. To change the colour of the node, simply select it and go to the Colour tab. From the Mode drop-down list, select RGB sliders. Now you can change the colour of the node simply by dragging the sliders, but because we've done this tutorial before, we know the exact colours we want to use, so we'll just type them into the input boxes. Select the second node and do the same. Great, and there we have our dark night sky. With our background sky complete, let's add our moon. Click Insert Picture, and then browse to your Tutorials Workspace folder, select the moon image, click Open, and then click and drag to add it to your page. We need to remove the background from the moon, so to do this on the Quick Shapes flyout, click Quick Ellipse, then hold down the Shift key and click and drag to draw an ellipse roughly the same size as the moon. With the shape still selected, hold down the shift key again and then click to select the photograph. You'll now have two objects selected, the shape and the photograph. Down on the Arrange tab, click Crop to Top Object. Now we've removed the background from our moon. Now let's add a glow effect. The Effects tab provides a wide selection of preset effects that you can apply to objects on your page with a simple click. We'll select the Glow category and apply the Glow 1 effect. And there we have a lovely glowing moon. Now let's add some clouds. Click the Paintbrush tool. And on the Brushes tab, select the Special Effects category and click the Clouds brush. Now open the Swatch tab and in the Palette drop-down list, select Standard RGB. Choose the mid-grey swatch. Now on the Brush Context toolbar, select your brush width. We'll select 70 to begin with and reduce the opacity for the clouds down to about 40%, something like that. And now simply paint your clouds around the moon. You'll get the best effect by varying the colour, the opacity and the width of your brush strokes. So just continue painting, building up to produce the effect that you like. Once you've added a brush stroke, you can edit it by simply selecting it again with the brush tool and then adjusting the properties on the context toolbar. Great. Now let's add our treetops. Scroll down to find the moss brush. For this we need quite a wide brush tip. And now paint your treetops. Great, we now have our clouds and our treetops. Let's add our bird silhouette. We've provided a sample that you can use in your workspace folder. Let's go to File, Open, and then browse to your Silhouettes file, and click Open. Choose the silhouette that you want to use. We'll choose this one here. Right click it, click Copy, and now you can close the Silhouettes document. Turning to the night sky document now, 
right click and click paste to paste in the silhouette resize position the image just there looks about right the black fur looks a little bit harsh so to soften it over on the swatch tab choose a dark brown swatch and apply it to the fill and to the line and there we go